Hi there, it's Chris Tuck from West Wickham Health and Fitness here. Come down to speak to Phil the Butcher this morning. After hearing that shock news on Sky TV this morning and all the other channels actually about beef burgers having horse and pig DNA within them. Now Phil, I'm just going to take the camera off you okay. so I can speak some statistics to you. Right, now they were saying this morning that five supermarkets are removing the beef burgers from their shelves and from their frozen food department and also some ready processed meals actually contain 29% horse meat. Now does this shock you at all? It shocks me that uh, that amount of uh, supermarkets are mo removing their uh, products from the shelf, that uh, they've got that amount of horse meat in them. Uh, obviously that, that product has been sourced from outside Britain and the products have been made outside Britain because uh, horse meat in this country is illegal to be put into the food industry. So yeah, it does quite shock me that 25% of it is uh, horse meat and uh, so many of them have done it. You know, how, how comes they're not being tested more vig vigorously? You yeah, know, how can they be getting away with how it? How can they be getting away with it? So this product, you know, if it's being made outside the EU and then being brought into this country, surely it should be tested as it comes across our borders. Um, as you know, I advocate eating a good quality product produce and cooking from scratch through the Kickstart Fat Loss Program and the Fat Busters Program, and I've got you on board to educate the local community. How can we... Um, People are saying to me that they think that buying from the butcher is expensive when they've got a budget to um, adhere to and all the rest. But if you can buy, like I googled this morning, you can buy eight beef burgers for a quid from Tesco's, their budget, that, there's no quality in that, is there, at all? Um, I personally think if you're on a budget and you, you have to buy eight burgers for a pound, I think I'd rather buy... Don't buy eight burgers for a pound. Buy something that is better quality for a pound. I'm not too sure what is better quality for a pound, but it's certainly not going to be doing your children or you any good if you're eating that type of burger, uh, which is containing 25% horse meat and pig DNA. And God knows what And God knows what, what else. You know, let, let's be fair about it. Let's try and use a little bit of common sense. What can you buy for a pound? of food that is going to do you any good. I mean, because if we compare that to maybe a chocolate bar or a packet of crisp, I mean, they're like 60, 70, 80p now, aren't they? It's, it's, it's just ridiculous. So it just it's just common sense, isn't it? It's common sense that, you know, if you're buying eight burgers for a pound, you know... That there's not going to be a lot of, of nutrition be, in there. I would say the meat contents of that would be less than 10%. Yeah. Yeah. Or, you know, in that case, maybe 25% of it, but it's horse meat. Yeah, absolutely. Oh, and I dread to think what that actually does to your um, body and your hormones and everything else. Okay, Phil, so we're going to come back tomorrow and you're going to show us exactly what goes into your beef burger. Yeah, we make a 100% pure steak burger. I shall cut this off a piece of chuck steak, mince it and uh, then put the burger seasoning with it and press it. Okay. Anyone who's bought my burgers know that's how I do it. I, I do have some burgers in the mid, in the window ready made, but they are only because I haven't got time to stop and make burgers all the time. But if you come into my shop and you want a burger, that's how I do it. Mince you the meat, prepare it and do it in front of you, it's just like the meatballs. Yeah, and exactly everything. That. So there's nothing else added to anything. It's no. just pure 100% meat. Pure 100% meat. Okay. No rusk and no added uh, ingredients. Well, you don't need to, do you? Because you're eating them that day or the next day, or if you're going to freeze them, they're going to last because it's yeah, good they, quality. They will last. You'll, yeah, you'll notice the difference. You you do in you the do. taste anyway. You know. Yeah. All right then, Phil. So have you got anything else to say about this? Um, story that's broken no, out you today. Know, I'll research it a bit more when I get home because I, I haven't been home to look at it on the uh, internet or anything but you know it's a bit shocking that uh, they're actually getting away with that and why would they want to get away with it um, Tesco's and them when their profit margin is so high. Yeah. Why don't they just take them off the shelf and say oh you know in, we the, in, in the interest of health let's just say we can't do them burgers no more we've got to maintain that the quality of product we're selling is good. 
Yeah, absolutely. And then they keep their customer base as and well. They keep their customer base. Yeah. Who's going to buy a burger out of uh, Tesco's again? You know. Well, I think um, uh, shopper confidence is going to be knocked by oh, it, definitely. So. Yes. All right, then. Lovely. Thank you, Phil. Thank you for your time. Chris Tuck from West Wickham Health and Fitness with Phil the Butcher, Jay Parr and Sons in Coney Hall. Thank you.